We are hanging out with NJIT Women's Soccer ahead of the 2023 season. Head coach Allie Nick, Drew Casey here with you. And thanks so much for joining us as we get a little bit of an inside perspective of this Highlanders women's soccer squad. And coach, it's the beginning of preseason. It's, it's got to be exciting mm -hmm. that the season is, is so, so close. Yeah, it's always exciting having the team back on campus, um, the energy they bring. You know, it's a fresh start seeing what the players have put in and the work and stuff. So it's definitely exciting times. Coming off of last season, what is the mindset like heading into 2023? Yeah, absolutely. I think we have a great core returning. Um, obviously, we graduated some really impactful players for us, but I think the group returning is hungry. Um, you see it in the first session that we had and the beginning of our preseason right now. It's definitely a different thought process. They're hungry. They put in the work. Um, they want to be challenged. I think as us coaches, we have to keep challenging them because this group that we have have proven to us as coaches already that they'll keep raising the bar for the challenge. So, I mean, that's a testament to the seniors that we have, um, our captains, Maddie and Emma, of relaying that message to them. So we're really excited to have this group and these returners come in and build off of where we left off last season. What about the newcomers to, to this year's roster? How, how are, do you see them fitting in? Yeah, we have a great group of newcomers coming in with um, seven freshmen and then one grad student coming in. And I think obviously like anything for incoming players, it takes a little bit of that adjustment coming in. But I think with the guidance and what the mindset and the meetings we're having of just getting everyone on the same page, there's going to be a quicker learning curve. Um, Michaela O'Fallon, our graduate student who's come in, obviously she has experience, so it's different than the other freshmen coming in. And you can see that on the field. You can see the impact already that she's had. And she fits really well into our culture. So for her, it's like she's been here all four years for us, which is nice to see. That's awesome. Let's talk about the schedule a little bit. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got the America East yeah. schedule, as you do every season. But the non-conference schedule this year includes a trip way out west to California. Yeah. You're going to play uh, two UC schools out there. What, uh, what was the thought process and the reason for, for those games? We've been trying for years to do that. Obviously, COVID threw a little bit of wrench in everyone's travel plans. Um, but we wanted to just to get a different style of play, different environment to be playing in front of. I remember when I was a student athlete, we went over to California to play. And you remember those memories. You remember those teams. It's definitely a different environment than the same opponents that you're playing all the time. So I think for our team, getting out there is going to be really exciting. Um, off the field, it's going to be exciting. The memories that we're going to be building to get together. But on the field as well, to see against new competitions, obviously the first time for our program out to be out in California. We're East Coast kids. A lot of our team mm -hmm. hasn't been out there, right? So we look at it as soccer is a way where you can see the world, right? You can see different things. So that's why we're really excited to get out there. That's fantastic. That's, uh, that's really, really cool and something that is new to the program. As Coach mentioned, first time for NJIT Women's Soccer uh, going to California and first time to the West Coast in, in more than a decade. I want to talk about the uh, student athlete experience specific to uh, to women's soccer a little bit. How you do you as a coach balance everything with the rigorous academics here at NJIT, and then of course with the very very competitive season that begins right from the jump, mm -hmm. even before the semester starts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't think. I don't balance this as much as the players balance it, right? So we have sure. to give them all the credit and all the resources that we have here. Um, it's phenomenal, right? The support that the student athletes have to do what they do in an academic environment such as NGIT. So for us, that balance is really big. We demand a lot from our team and our program. Um, recruiting wise, we say we put a lot of emphasis on our academics soccer and even in the relationships so they have to be able to balance that and do really well so being on the road yes isn't ideal obviously our schedule but our girls are preparing ahead of time um, they have to prioritize they have to get their study hall in you know right. so our team gpa is usually around a three five and that's with the majors that we have so it's definitely demanding and i'd be lying if i said it wasn't and it sure. takes special players to be able to do it in this program but I think when they see what they're able to accomplish afterwards and the job offers they have and how successful they are, it makes it all worth it. And Coach, lastly, to back to the upcoming season, what do you foresee as, as some of the goals or what can NJIT fans expect to see from 2023 Highlanders women's soccer? Yeah, I think you're going to see uh, definitely a hungry and upbeat team. I think something that we've never seen before in the sense that this team is already starting to 
think as one. You know, I think they're starting to be hungry to obtain something. And yes, our goal is to be competing for a conference championship to keep the tradition going of making the conference tournament. That's the tradition of the program we want to keep. But I think this team we have is very committed to taking it day by day right now. And I love seeing that. They're committed to making themselves better every single day. And I think you're going to start seeing it on the field. You're going to see a hardworking team that is not going to back down, that any team we face, they're going to be up there competing with them. And it's going to be really exciting. Really looking forward to seeing you and the squad competing in the upcoming season. Thank you for your time, and we wish you the, the best of luck this season. Thank you. That is NJIT women's soccer head coach Allie Nick joining us prior to the start of the 2023 season.